Alrighty, Sagittarius, so this is going to be your reading for September 21st through 28th. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and get straight into your messages for this week, okay? Please keep in mind, this is a general message, so everything I say may not be particularly for you. So view this message as just a general message, it's not anything personal, and... If you do want something more personal where it is going to be tailored to you specifically, definitely make sure you guys check out my website. Uh, that will be linked below as well as my Patreon if you are someone who's interested in personal weekly and monthly messages as well as my pick a card channel if that is something that you like to view. Okay, so everything will be in the description box as well as the comment section, okay? So Sagittarius for September 21st through the 28th. What's the energy surrounding them for this week? Sagittarius for September 21st through the 28th. Let's get into it. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So Sagittarius, what I am seeing for this week, I am getting a huge sense of you really seeing your own light this week. And this could be you finally seeing the light as far as, okay, the universe is finally shining the light on where you may have been falling short for yourself, okay? This could be, you know, not really... Not giving it all you got, okay? The universe has been really wanting you to give it all you got as far as... um Showing people what you're made of and not even showing people what you're made of to make other people like believe that you're this awesome, whatever. It's just, you know yourself, your potential as a being, or you know your potential, you know how, you know, bright you are as a person, intellectual, for some of you guys, very artistic, um, and whatnot, and what you bring to the table. And for a lot of you, you've been neglecting to really show people that, and the universe has been really trying to show you like, look, Sagittarius, like you're the shit, you need to go ahead and and like shine your light and show people what you have to offer here. So with this energy, I'm getting a huge sense of you really needing to take this like inclination or this, um, this moment of clarity as your way to, again, move forward. Like take this, this moment of clarity as your inspiration to move forward here. Cause for a lot of you, you have a lot of information. You have a lot of um, wisdom that you can pass on to others. Um, or there's a lot of wisdom that you just have in general that you can use to help you progress as a being. It's just a matter of you tap it into that so that you can go ahead and get these new uh, blessings going, okay? Now, another thing I am seeing as well this week, there's going to be an interesting moment, like I said, where you're going to have to face the truth, the truth of where you have been lacking and where you can, you know, improve on certain things and how you can um, change this, the story that's being written for the rest of this year, if that makes sense. And this is acknowledging, again, those painful truths of, okay, maybe I have been sleeping in uh, for a whole, you know, week or so, and I could have, like, woke up earlier, and I could have got my work done, or things of that sort. It's like realizing where you have fallen short and how you can correct that moving forward. That's going to be important this week, okay? Um... Another thing I am seeing as well, for some of you guys, some sort of relationship is very important to you this week, will be a main focal point for you this week. For some of you guys, there could be like, uh, you could be finding out that your partner may be pregnant this week and that may be uh, happy news for some of you guys. Others of you may not be so happy news. Again, um, definitely make sure you are being safe. If you are somebody who is very intimate and you haven't been being safe, okay, that could be a thing here. Also, for some of you, I am also seeing that, again, um, with a relationship where you want more growth within it, I feel like you need to do what you intuitively feel is right for you. And also, again, using your intuition overall with this relationship, if you want there to be more growth, what are the issues that are there that you guys aren't speaking about within the connection, okay? 
Now, I want to go ahead and take a look at the affirmations that I need to pass on to you for this week, things that you guys need to keep in mind, and then we're going to go ahead and get into your love life, okay? So give me one card for my Sagittarius for the affirmation they need to hear for September 21st through the 28th. What does my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to hear for September 21st through 28th? Okay. Give me a sec, guys. All of them fell. All right, Sagittarius. All right, so we have one. It says, I am an active participant in my life. And I feel like this kind of ties into what I was just saying. It says... You play an active role in your life and have control over your decisions and choices. There is always an opportunity to actively participate in your life experiences, especially how you respond to them. Take pride in your ability to facilitate change. This is literally what I was saying. This is understanding that for things to get done in your life, you have to be an active participant. And also understanding that life isn't something that happens to you, it happens for you. You, you understand? So understand that you really make your circumstance on this plane and how much you participate, how willing you are to push yourself to make your existence better is how good it's going to be. And then we also have, I am dope. And it says you are a unique individual that originally, let's try that again. It says you are a unique individual and that originality makes you extremely dope. You have a purpose and a path that is vital and tailored specifically for you. Remember to recognize yourself as special, necessary, and dope as hell, okay? I love this card. So this is understanding, again, your potential and what you, like, what you're made of. Okay, Sagittarius, you are literally it. And I'm not just saying that because whatever. I'm not trying to gas anybody out there. Okay. This is more of understanding your potential and just showing up for yourself in general and doing what you need to do to just make your existence better is the most important thing that you can do. And things will fall into place after that. It's just show up for it. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So now let's go ahead and take a look at your love life. Okay. So what is going on with my Sagittarius love life for September 21st through the 28th? What's the energy surrounding that? So we have love yourself first and it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We also have stay optimistic about your love life and it says positive thinking will bring you romance. In the bottom of the deck we have give your relationship a chance and it says work on your partnership. So with these cards coming out, I am getting a sense of a lot of my Sagittarius taking the stance of really respecting yourself, okay? This is like respecting yourself and knowing where you draw the line. Like, look, I'm not going to keep dealing with you coming back and forth out of my life or you being trash or whatever. Just knowing what you will and will not accept, right? And with this, um, it's putting you in a tough spot because it's like, you still want some sort of connection to work, but you really feel as if like certain things have been showing you like, look, it's just not going to work. And if you are in a relationship right now, it's like you're trying to stay optimistic. But again, there's signs coming up. You could be noticing that your partner's cheating or um, just certain things in their attitude may not be, you know, all the way what you feel in. But I'm definitely seeing that again, a lot of you are trying to put your self respect first more than anything, any sort of situation here. And you could be shutting yourself off to a connection where you really do care about this person. Like for a lot of you, this is a soulmate connection. And it definitely is making somebody feel some sort of way here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do a full spread here. Let's see more in depth what's going on with your week. Sagittarius for September 21st through the 28th. What's going on with my sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Sagittarius for September 21st through the 28th. Oof. Sagittarius. Ugh, I don't want these cards to fall, guys. You guys know how hard it is to shuffle. Okay. 
All right, so I think we're good. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. So bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Wands, the the Hermit, I almost said the Hierophant, the Hermit and the Seven of Swords, okay? So I definitely am seeing that there is some sort of like twin flame connection or family connection you may have with someone where you may be on some sort of break with this person or needing to also like get some deep, do some deep soul searching and really figuring out what's the next move with some sort of connection you have with someone okay with the seven of swords there may have been cheating or lies or deception or things just being left out in the connection that could be finally coming up at this moment you could be in a space of really feeling trapped to a connection or not even for some of you guys not even trapped to the connection per se but more of like trapped to the circumstance or situation as a whole um and not knowing which way to move with it this may be with an aries virgo any sign honestly okay but those are the signs that are showing up prominently but with this connection you really want to take a leap of faith and fix things with this person um but you have a huge level of anxiety about whether or not you guys can move on from your issues okay now, coming into this week, I do have the Seven of Pentacles. With this, I am seeing that you are trying to, again, evaluate your connection up until this point. Um, for a lot of you as well, this is like evaluating your finances. Like, okay, am I at the financial space I want to be at? I don't really think so. And trying to find ways to progress that or to finally reap the benefits of the work that you've been putting in. And with the Four of Swords and the Chariot, this is like you brainstorming to find a way to be successful and to move beyond any sort of, you know, issues you may have been running into and having to make some head over heart decisions on how to get out of some issues or how to get yourself out of this internal conflict that you may be up under here, okay? Now, what I am seeing for last week's energy, I do have the Two of Cups. This could have been your focus on... Your focus, excuse me, could have been on relationships, like your your soulmate connection possibly with someone or a relationship you may have with someone. For a lot of you as well, if you're not in a relationship, this could be you trying to find a level of balance between your masculine and feminine energy. Like this is working on your giving and receiving as well for some of you. But with the Ace of Pentacles and the full card again, I'm getting a sense of... There may have been an opportunity for you to build a relationship with an Aries or any sign um, for that matter, but it may have required you to take a leap of faith on not really knowing where the hell that was going to go. And with the Eight of Swords, it's like you may have been in a space of not really knowing if you could do that because of the fact that there was issues that were pre-existing here, okay? But the guidance for this week is the Queen of Wands. And with this, this is you making yourself your main priority this week. Also making sure that you are taking an account of what's best for you and standing in your power as well. Clarifying the Queen of Wands, I have the Strength card. So this is you also gaining that strength and that self-control to not indulge in people's um antics where they may want to argue with you or they want to you know start issues with you you know what doesn't deserve your energy and what does and this is also keeping your focus on what's to come in the future because great things are on its way to you if you stay strong you stay focused you stay determined and optimistic as well okay now, the obscure issue that may come up this week is the King of Wands. This could be another um, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or this could be you, you being your own obstacle. And I was kind of saying this in the beginning. Um, there's a need for you to realize that there's no outside obstacle keeping you from being successful. For a lot of you Sagittarius, there's no one outside of you that can keep you from being where you want to be at but yourself. Because the second you feel like, okay, this is coming up against me or this, 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 or I don't know if I could really stick it through. That is where you're going to fall short because people can say things, people can do things, people can be whatever all day, but it's a matter of how you handle it and how you go about uh, moving forward with that. Okay. But what I am seeing for the outcome of this week, I do have the King of Cups. And with this, you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But clarifying that, I do have the death card. So you could be ending things possibly with a water sign. 
Um, for some of you guys, this could be you ending a relationship with somebody who you really emotionally care about. Or you could be in your feelings or trying to keep it together emotionally with some sort of connection that may have ended between you and another person. Okay, somebody who you felt like emotionally completed you. But that's pretty much what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. I really hope that I was able to give you some sort of guidance or clarity for what to expect for this week. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And again, if you do want to book me for a personal reading, definitely check out my website as well as my Patreon if you're interested in monthly and weekly guidance. And also check out my Pick a Card channel if you are interested in Pick a Cards, okay? So I'm going to see my Sagittarius later, and I hope you have an awesome week. Bye.